Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ivan Strahovska! <laughs> get in there, get in there. Get in there. What's going on, Clacker? Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Hanging out. Oh, it's a good Aussie panel we're going to have here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, because you're going to talk. Because I'm just going to, yeah. yeah. What is that in your? It's my, it's my chew straw. I, oh. Because I have an oral fixation where I chew on straws. Does anybody else have that? <laughs> One person, thank you. <laughs> now I don't feel weird. Now it's two of us that feel weird. You know those little greeny sticks that you get in a Starbucks? Anybody go to Starbucks as much as I do? <laughs> I will chew the hell out of those things. Do you chew the... Glad I shared that. Um, you know the, you know when you unscrew the Pellegrino and then there's the white... The oh, the little plastic thing? ring? I chew those. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, so who has questions for Yvonne? Uh, I think... Are you, are, you know what? You pick. You pick. You get to pick. It's your panel. Hands up if hands you got a up. question. All right, that was the first hand up that I saw. Oh, a proper Deadpool. Wait, hold, hold on, I think your microphone's not working. Oh. Oh, there we go. It's, now it's working, you know. Oh, okay. There Sorry. we go. Um, I was just wondering, you've played a lot of uh, obviously female characters who... <laughs> <laughs> this one's starting out with a bang. <laughs> but female characters who are sort of well-known for being super kick-ass. So I was wondering if you had any, like, good stories about, like, certain stunts that you did or learning like a fighting technique for a movie or for Chuck or for any TV show or anything like that. Thank you. Uh, certain stunts. I mean, I guess that goes back to the Chuck days. The first thing I just thought of was when we did that dual dance, not dance. It was like when we did, weren't we in Sweden or something? <laughs> and we did that fight scene where you know, like swing me around and we were like back to back and I did a kick thing and then no, Germany. Was it Someone. Germany? Who knows Chuck better than we do? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I mean, we had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, I'm trying to think of an, like a unique thing that I can tell you and be really interesting. Um, but I... I, I mean, we, you learned to dance, you learned to fight. Yeah, I feel like I did a lot of stuff. I mean, I did a lot of kung fu and muay thai training to begin with, with our wonderful fight choreographer, Dave Morizzo, and, um, and he taught me a bunch of stuff, and then, uh, and then we just got to do crazy stuff on the show, like zip lines and dances, and I mean, I, I really had a lot of fun doing all that stuff. I miss it. I, I don't get to do much of that anymore. Does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really boring answer, I feel It like. wasn't boring at all. You were telling the people what you learned and your okay. experiences. Thanks, Minge. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, who's got the next question? At the back. Hi. Um, speaking of female characters, I just wanted to ask you a question. Do you think there is enough, say, action roles out there? For example, I thought with the recent uh, recasting of the all-female lead cast of Ghostbusters, <laughs> when they did the uh, relaunch of Point Break, I thought you'd be awesome for that with the surfing, the butt kicking, bank robbing, all stuff that you've shown that you're pretty great with uh, on screen. So is there enough action role, lead roles, do you think, for women out there? Uh, no, I, I don't think there is. I mean, in general, I don't think it's very even at this point. Um, but it seems like there's a lot of attention right now on that in the media, and a lot of people are talking about that right now, which is great. So hopefully there'll be more roles. I mean, it's great that a lot of women are taking it upon themselves to create companies to focus more on roles for women across the board. Um, hopefully, I can do something like that one day, too. Is there a role that you would want to play? Like, a dream role? Like, Miss Marvel? Or something like that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> stir the pot, stir it! Stir it. You mean like an action, specifically an action? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, per his question, like, you know, like kick-ass action roles. Is there like an action role that you... I mean, sure. I mean, I'll take that one. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll if they it. handed it to me, I wouldn't say no. Right. Um, I think more of my dream roles come from my 
childhood stuff because I grew up reading all the sort of classic novels and Pride and Prejudice and Emma and I love period stuff and I grew up in Shakespeare and so I would that my real dream thing is to do something like that from that era because you love corsets because well I don't know about corsets <laughs> I don't know about corsets. Bustles. I don't think I would survive a corset. A bustle. Too much of a boy for a corset. <laughs> uh, next question. Yes. <laughs> Who? Who'd you pick? Hi. Oh. Um, okay, I had a question. So about, uh, you were just talking about your favorite dream role that you'd want uh, acting-wise. So besides acting, what would be your dream of doing anything, like a trip or going to do something, like volunteering or going shopping somewhere I don't know like it, what's your like dream not including like acting uh god this is so many to choose from uh <laughs> I think well one of the things I've always wanted to do and I've been sort of waiting to to do it to have a proper amount of time is to go to Nepal and go trekking in the Himalayas that's been a massive dream of mine for a really long time so I've, and then I sort of want to do it in in the way where I have a lot of time to really immerse myself in the culture and do it properly for, I don't know, six months or something. But I, I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe when, I don't know, I'm old and grey. Who no, knows? Or when you just say, I'm just going. Yeah, I know. Because we've really talked hard. about that before. Yeah, but it's it's really a It's a weird to... thing with an actor. Like, it's, it's yeah. like Murphy's Law. You... It's, it's like when you pl finally go, I'm, you know what, I'm going on a trip, you plan it, you book the tickets, and then you get a job. That's exactly what always happens. And it, it, happened, it happened to me just now. With, yeah. uh, I went off and I, I was in Thailand just now shooting a movie, and it was all very last minute. And of course, it, it only happened because I planned a trip, or my parents planned a trip to come and see me in L.A., and we had everything planned out. And, and then I had to call them and say, hey, do you want to meet in Bangkok instead? Uh, which we did, <laughs> so it was great. I think the one thing we need to learn from that is we should just book more trips, because then we'd work a lot more, I guess. That's, that's how that works. Is this my water? I have no idea. Are these fresh waters out here? <laughs> I don't know. It was Shatner's water? Oh, drink Shatner's water. <laughs> By the way, dude, William Shatner had two people sit on his lap in his panel. He did? He did. Were you one of them? No! <laughs> You should have been. I was left out of the equation. Oh, well, that's no good. That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Yes, here. I um, actually wrote some letter for you too. Okay. Oh, you can, hand, you can hand that to our volunteer. He can bring that up right here. Okay, so um, uh, Firstly, um, I'd like to say thanks for holding this event because um, I'm not from the U.S. So, like, being able to thank you guys for your work is um, sort of a rare thing for me. And then um, you guys, like, create really um, good work for... <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, okay, <Sorry>. okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, Continue. Sorry, uh, like, um... Uh, Whenever I want to like procrastinate, I watch your work, so I'm really thankful. Okay. You're very welcome. Uh, okay. Um. So uh, my question is, um, in this business, <laughs> I'm sure you've had to um make many decisions, and um each decision uh, decision will put you like on a different path. So I was wondering, um, was there a time where you um, regretted a decision or like you wish you did something different or, um, or was there something you wish you did better? Thank you. Mm. Deep. That's heavy. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have any regrets. I, in, the, you, in my career, the, the question was career oriented and in life I have many. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but no, I really, I feel like things have panned out kind of exactly the way they were supposed to pan out. Um, it, it gets, I, I mean, it gets tricky making decisions, uh, career decisions, because there's, you know, there's obviously all jobs that come your way and sometimes it's more about saying no than about saying yes to try and craft 
and have the type of career that you want to have, um, which can be difficult to try and figure out what's going to be good for you and what's not. Sometimes it's it, it can get a little blurry, but I don't I don't have any regrets. I mean, I'm really happy with the way that everything's gone. I've been here eight and a half years now, and I feel so lucky to have been able to be a part of so many amazing projects and have the opportunity to play so many different characters and I mean it's it's great I can only hope that it keeps going in that way so yeah good answer <laughs> thanks no regrets <laughs> next question yes why am I picking because it's your panel you normally pick I've never picked <laughs> I've never picked. Oh, I get nervous about picking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for picking me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm loving your show, Astronauts Wives Club. Thank you. And I wanted to know, what is it like playing a real life character? And do you have any favorite costumes? Because you're the best. Oh, so many. Um, well, it was. It's a. It's a bit more pressure. I think to play a real life person, um, especially Reen is still alive, uh, and I haven't met her, but um, it was definitely a lot of pressure. I feel like I had to, I felt like I had to read a lot and uh, do a lot of research, and it was really hard to find stuff on her in terms of any audio or uh, visual clips. But I did manage to find a couple things, um, which is how I sort of found her voice, because I, I, there's a little bit of a different thing going on with, with her that I tried to do, and I wanted to try and honor her as much as I could. I mean, obviously, you know, you do a TV show and it's a lot of <clears throat> artistic interpretation. Is that my phone? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Guys, turn your phones off. Um, <laughs> I thought I did. These phones click on really easily. Oh, was that what happened? That? Was that totally an accident? They do. I promise they do. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what was I saying? Uh, you were talking about your character, oh, how, you, how you found her voice, and is there was there a particular outfit that you particularly liked? Yes. Not to um, say particularly twice in the same sentence, but I did. Continue. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, so... Reen, okay, yeah, no, I, it, I mean, it's we have a lot of artistic interpretation on the show because it's a show, and we're, you know, we're we're we have artistic license in a way to sort of go above and beyond what we what is real, but we try to honor it as much as we can, um, and with so little to go off, you 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 kind of have to create something on your own, and uh, but the one thing with Reen, the biggest thing that I took from her looking at her photographs, for example, was that she had she always had this smile and she always seemed like she had a lot of joy and this brightness, um, which was one of my favorite things playing her because I don't I don't really think I've ever played someone who who has that jo constant joy. It was uh, so it was so much fun playing her. Um, and then favorite outfits. I mean, that's there's so many. They were oh. So hard to pick. Um, oh, I did like the little, um, the little romper, the little Fourth of July romper when she comes in with the dessert and she matched her outfit to the dessert. <laughs> she says it too. <laughs> Match my outfit to the dessert. It's really fun. Did you steal that one? Do I what? Did you steal that one? No, I couldn't steal anything. Oh. I have nothing. I've never stolen an outfit either from a set. <laughs> Except those pants that you wear. Listen, Did I you steal asked that from the guy it. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to a man running in with no pants. Ah! It's William Shatner. <laughs> I told you not to say anything about that. Uh, next question. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you can sit. You don't need to stand. Cool. <laughs> Um, well, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. Yay. Um, and Miranda's one of my favorite characters. Um, did you have a different way of going about it, playing a character in a video game versus a regular character, or did you just go about it the same way? It's a little different on video games because you don't, uh, you typically don't get to see 
the the visual stuff when you're doing voiceovers for video games. So you you're kind of going in blind in a way. Um, it's you and a sound booth and a microphone and that's kind of it. I mean, you I mean you get to see what the characters look like and there's artwork and stuff. And sometimes they have clips, sometimes they have really raw clips. Um, so so it's very 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 different. Um, I did I did voice a game once where there was everything or everything was already in place because the game was Japanese and so I had to redo the English version, and that was kind of complicated because that's a whole other thing about trying to match exactly the 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 mouth, and it's in another language, so it doesn't often you know pan out the same way when you're trying to do the English version of the same sentence. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I was just I was just visualizing you having to dub English or do a Japanese speaking voice, and that was, just gave me the giggles in my head. <laughs> uh, uh, next question. Yes. Hi, Yvonne. Hello. So, um, <clears throat> do you have many, any of the um, <clears throat> embarrassing or funny stories of possibly your co-stars on maybe Chuck? <laughs> any any co-star. Doesn't have to be anybody I particular. <laughs> well, where do I begin? I don't, I don't really have any. Oh, I can't think. God, I always I can never think of anything when you. I, I mean, I think probably the most. Well, I can't tell this story. He asked you the question. What story? Is this is about you or me. No, when we did that scene where it was in the early morning, and I was falling asleep. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. It's more funny. It's funny. Have we told this story before? I don't know, have we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, y'all know to us go. too well. Yeah, right? Um, what can we possibly say to you at this point that you don't already know? Well, there's that, yeah. There's also, well, there's you eating yoga every morning, which was really gross, but I've told that story too. Have you? On the podcast. Didn't Did I? Yeah. I'm hearing yes. Yes. But, yeah. Maybe not everybody heard what it. Else? I ate yogurt every morning. It's gross. Because it's good. I don't know. I wish I like I really it. wish I liked yogurt. I just don't. It smells. I just don't like it. What can I tell? An embarrassing story. Um, I don't know. I feel like There wasn't a lot of like weird embarrassing stuff that happened. I mean, we were really gross. Oh yeah, lots of farting, lots of burping. On his part. <laughs> she is such a horrible liar. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I remember one time I dropped a deuce in Josh Gomez's trailer <laughs> and just left it there. <laughs> Waited for him to come to work. <laughs> that was really fun. You know what I heard was on the Golden Girls? <laughs> Apparently, Betty White used to go into the other girls' dressing rooms or trailers, and she would do that. She would get there early to work, and she, Betty White wow. would go into their bathrooms and just drop one and leave it. She's one of us. She's one of us! <laughs> Come on, hot on for Betty. <laughs> That's why we almost got married, me and Betty. Uh... This wasn't meant to be. Uh, I I don't, uh, embarrassing stories, I don't know, I can't think of any. I mean, all the embarrassing stories are more poop-oriented, I think. <laughs> Which I don't necessarily feel like I want to admit to just yet at this Except stage you just did. in my life. No specifics, you oh, know. Oh, the specifics, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yes. Um, do you have any like favorite, like memorable scenes, whether they're, like emotional or f just fun on set or fun to shoot? Any anything specific that stands out to you? Chuck. On Chuck? Yes. Uh, I would say the Thailand episode, specifically. I <clears throat> That was my favorite fight scene, hands down. Uh, and, the, and the whole sequence that follows afterwards where Chuck's almost brain dead and... Wearing, wearing a little really medical gown. Yeah. It was a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That was intense, though. That was. You were intense. great in that episode. You kicked that dude's butt. And, right? Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you were. What was what was the nickname you were get? What like the Thai people were called? Oh, the sh uh, sh what is it? Blind giant blonde she blonde male. Yeah. I actually got a lot of tweets because I was in Thailand just now, and there was <laughs> some tweets coming through about oh the giant blonde she males in town. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, you were like, there was a lot of <laughs> tears that when you finally found me in that shed. Yeah. And bringing me back to life. There was a lot of emotional scenes on Chuck. Yeah. We had quite a few. Oh, the last, the, the, also, I mean, the, the whole last episode. Trying to, yeah. trying to get through filming that was horrible. And I think we've talked about this too. Yeah, we have. Ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are, any other, any other scenes that step, that, I think the wedding scene as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's really emotional. Don't apologize, I just found it amusing. <laughs> Ooh! That was fun. It wasn't emotional? <laughs> I don't know. I was emotional. I, don't I get know. emotional about yeah. everything. I mean, I guess I got a little emotional. I think it was kind of interesting because we finally got there. Like it was, and we didn't know that we were coming back for another season. So it was almost kind of like, mm. that, that might have been the end of the show. Yeah. Um, but, you know, to start our, you know, Chuck and Sarah relationship that was so push and pull and hot and cold and on and <laughs> off. And then for me to be pining after you for so long. <laughs> and then drunk in my hallway <laughs> with a Guitar Hero guitar. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was, it was, it was poignant. Yeah, it was yeah. an emo. It was an emo. Yeah. <laughs> Not to be confused with an emo, which is a big bird that <laughs> runs around. <laughs> I'll stop there. Next question. Yes. Which, who'd you point at? That guy yes. right there? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, hi, I uh, really liked you on uh, 24 Redemption. Uh, I thought you were great in it. <laughs> Do you have any uh, fun stories that you would care to share about that one? Uh, I love Chuck as well, but uh, that one was a lot more recent. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, fun stories, fun stories. That was hardcore filming that. That was um, almost like filming Chuck. <laughs> uh, oh, fun stories. I'm so boring today. Um, I'm trying to think of fun stories. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I remember London uh, being depressed because there was no sunlight. Uh, <laughs> there's a fun story. That's fun, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and just being freezing cold. Uh, I had a really also great fun. time, clearly. Uh, no, I, I did have a great time, but it was freezing cold and I was depressed. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. Do you do you find I'm kidding? Not really. Uh, do Do you find yourself? Because I we I find we I feel like we get these types of questions a lot. Like, what's a fun anecdote, or what was like something funny that happened, or whatever. And I constantly find myself drawing blanks. And it's not that I didn't yeah. enjoy the process, <laughs> but and I don't know. Maybe I just take the job too seriously sometimes. But I feel like. I'm so like in the work mode that I'm maybe I don't I'm not even aware of or I'm not aware enough to retain a lot of those anecdotes or those memories. So then when people ask me like what was it, what was some, something funny? Do you ever do you feel like that? Yeah, well it's also being <clears throat> put on the spot and you can't I would think in an hour from now I'll remember it. I'll remember it <laughs> some something. What's your Twitter handle? She'll hit you. I mean, I don't. I mean, I. I just thought of, for example, the the torture scene. Like that was that was pretty torturous in itself. Shooting the torture scene where I was chained up, but I was chained up this way. I don't know if you ever saw it, but I was chained up this way and hanging off the thing, and it took two days to shoot, and it was, it was, uh, yeah. Fun. F I mean, <laughs> the, it was full on. Like full on. Full on. I mean, I was I was harnessed, but still, there were a couple shots where. It, w it was full on, like I didn't have the harness on and, and, and it was, um, let's just say I had some shoulder pain the next day, <laughs> which was intense, but it turned out good, I think. <laughs> so, 
So, yeah. Next question. Yes, at the front here. I think you should do the picking. Why do I have to do the picking? You're um, better at it. Oh, my turn. Okay. Oh, yeah, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> um, first of all, I just want to say uh, to Chuck, really, or to Chuck. To you, That's the, fine. The guy that, <laughs> I get well, it well, all Chuck, the Chuck, time. Chuck was the gateway drug um, to discover Zach Levi. I'm a huge fan of Zach Levi. Thanks, I, man. I actually am fans of your fans. Uh, I fangirl Shannon Fox, who fangirl. Isn't Fox. she great? She is is Shannon here right now? Yes, she is, somewhere in here. Shannon. She's hiding under her chair. Yeah, she's here. She's getting pointed out right oh, now. Yeah, there she is. Hi, Shannon. And any, okay, Yvonne, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is about you. Um, to follow up on a question earlier about what you want to do if you weren't acting, um, a lot of the pictures you've taken when you were in New Orleans, um, absolutely stunning. Have you ever thought about putting together like a photo book or um, the pictures, at least the ones you put on Instagram were, were, were wonderful. Um, have you ever thought about doing something <clears> like that? And um, don't pet furry cute animals on the beach anymore. <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson. Uh... I have thought about it. I've I've had a long time interest in photography, but not a serious one. It was just more like for fun um, since school. Uh, and I've thought about doing a little collection of photographs from around the world um, because I've been traveling a lot in the last three years, especially, and you know, taking some pics and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe one day I would do something like that. Um, oh yeah, we could auction some of that stuff off for sure. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, little, no little coffee, little coffee table book. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> uh, next question. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 I thought I was picking. Oh, okay. Go, 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 pick. Jeez, Louis, I want to go with this little man right here. He's been very patient. Hi, Yvonne. Hi. <laughs> I was just wondering if you learned anything from your preview characters that you take or carry on with you in your life. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I think more so than learning from my characters, I learn from the people around me that I'm working with when I'm shooting whatever it is that I'm shooting, whether it be... Uh, just observing how people work, because everybody works differently on a set, uh, and how people handle themselves on a set or around other people, and all the different personalities that come together. I, I always find it super fascinating to see everyone come together. You know, people that you would never have met uh, ordinarily if you weren't put in that situation. And I, and I always think it's really interesting to see how all the dynamics work. Um, so, yeah, I, I, and, I, and I learn a lot from that, and I take away a lot from that. You know, there's, there's good and there's bad, and, and there's many, many lessons that I walk away with, yeah. What did you learn from Adam Baldwin? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> What did you learn by playing Sarah Walker? Or can you remember? <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. You did this joke last year. Did I? Yes. Oh. It wasn't the same question, was it? You always got to make that joke. We got to no, laugh like... about it together, guys. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> this man is looking at me like, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we damn don't. <laughs> For example, yeah. well, something that from you, like observing you and Gomez interact over the five years that we shot Chuck. I mean, I was fresh off the boat from Australia and I didn't have any experience whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, not in the States anyway. So, and, and especially, uh, you know, American comedy has a very particular rhythm and a particular style that that is only specific to this country. And... Uh, that was one of the things I loved watching about you specifically, and especially when you and Gomez were interacting together. Uh, just learning about how you guys do it and what, how you get there and all the stupid shit that you come up with when, <laughs> when you're doing it. And like, I don't know, it was just, it was, it was five years of a learning experience. And that was, that, I mean, that's just one little thing that I'm talking about as an example, but 
I miss that Josh Gomez. Yeah. We got to get him down here at some point. I know. I... Don't you miss Josh Gomez? <laughs> hey, Josh Gomez, we miss you. Come and hang out. He's probably in a cave. <laughs> His beard is like down to here. <laughs> what do you guys want? <laughs> Playing video games over here. <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, I see a hat, so clearly that's a cowboy, and I'm gonna go with you. Uh, first is the cowgirl, but whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> right. Anyways, two questions for you guys. Um, one is, um, Yvonne, what, would, what Disney princess would you voice if you could? Um, and second, um, I guess, what's your favorite, like, season of Chuck? I'm so sorry if I'm asking this already, like, that a million other people have already asked this already, so I just, I don't know. So, if that makes sense. That's okay. There's no, Thank you. There's no stupid questions. Disney princess. The Little Mermaid is not a Disney princess. Sure she is. But she's not, is she a princess in the end? Oh, she a princess girl. <laughs> she a princess with shale bras. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Just revealing myself. Yeah, I think I would be the Little Mermaid. Yeah. That's fun. She could be a ginger. <laughs> she could. You could, you could totally play a ginger. I actually had red hair once upon a time. Did you? First time I dyed my hair, I think I was 14, I made it bright red, gingery, yeah, with braces. <laughs> I looked hot. <laughs> did, it look like your, did it look like your photo on Chuck at your high, at the high yeah, school reunion? I, I actually looked like that. I did look like that once upon a time, everyone. I did, for real. Yeah. Yeah. What, <laughs> yeah. what was the second question? Oh, what's your favorite season of Chuck? Oh, season. Oh, man. I don't know. That's a toughie, isn't it? That's a toughie. I, I, don't, I don't think I have one. Mainly because I find it really hard to remember what actually, which part of the storyline <laughs> occurred in which well, season. Season one, <laughs> season one, we kind of ended with Chuck versus the Marlin, I think, right? That was, that was uh, so with the writer's strike happened that year. So that was a lot of just like the building up. And that was like when Minnie first came in, Chuck versus the Wookiee. Minnie! Like, Minnie! Uh, and then season two was when my hair looked like a helmet. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, I think season two. <laughs> Did I leave you in Prague in season, at the end of season? That was also depressing. It was Scott Bakula was season two, depressing. right? No, right? Oh my God, this is horrible. You know what pisses me off, not pisses me off, it makes me feel bad about myself, <laughs> is that I'll watch like Jared and Jensen from Supernatural. They know every single episode and everything that happens. So when a fan asks them, what did you think about that episode? They go, oh, well, let me tell you. And then you guys will ask us like, so what's your favorite, like, Gener like season. It's not even an episode. It's like, what's your favorite season? We're like, what happened? In that? Well, it's hot. I mean, we were sleep deprived half the time, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so true. hard to remember anything. It's true. I mean, I yeah. have legitimate memory. Legitimate. Loss. But season four, for sure, was our whole Volkov journey. That was all Timothy Dalton, right? That was all season four stuff. And then <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then season five was when you, when the intersect was getting passed around and. People were losing. Their... When was it that Thailand episode that I liked? That, that was, was three. Three, I think. Wasn't right. It? Season three. Four. Right, like I said, four. four. <laughs> That's four. I thought it was three. Oh, there's a lot of them, guys. Oh my god. Oh wow. We're too... <laughs> everyone's now like, I think everyone's looking at us like, who are these yahoos? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't mean we weren't in, involved in it, though. No, we genuinely, I think it comes down to sleep deprivation, at least for me. I mean, we, we definitely, we work, yeah, it was, we work like 16 hours a day. And by the way, it's not like we're digging ditches, but you're up that long, and then you get home, and then you, you know, might play some Gears of War or something, and then you go to bed. And then you wake up. I don't know. Carry you on. worked longer than I did. No, because you're like, I would get to, my call time was like, like at call because I was like five seconds in the chair. You, you know, there's, ladies have to, ladies take, you know, you guys, you spend a little longer. You've got more hair. Although season two, I had a lot of hair. So it took a little while. 
<laughs> <laughs> Next question. Pick them. Go. Oh, I get to pick. God, this is horrible. Right here, right here in the front. Oh, oh, you didn't know that was happening. Yes, you right there. Hi. Um, I just watched your princess rap battle. That was amazing. That was amazing. That the other question kind of um, spurred me on to ask you this. But how much went into that, and like how much practice? And well, when they asked me to do it, I had never seen Game of Thrones. Ooh, controversial. <laughs> so. <laughs> I spent two, three weeks binge watching Game of Thrones, hardcore, uh, and loving it uh, because I, I had no idea exactly what who Daenerys was. Now I know, uh, but I felt it necessary to <laughs> watch the whole thing before I did it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it w it was just a lot of fun. We went in, we recorded the rap prior to shooting the video which was more challenging than I thought it would be, um, doing a rap. Uh, and, and then we spent a whole day, we had a bit of a rehearsal the day before we, we shot it. It was just, it was super fun. I mean, it's, it's goofing around and just being silly and yeah, I loved it. I, I remember at one point she had, because I knew she was starting to binge watch Game of Thrones, and she had texted me. I think you texted me something like "OMG Ned Stark," with like a <laughs> hundred exclamation points. And I just texted her back. I was like, "Oh, just you wait, girl. It's true. Oh, just you wait. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But it was so cool because I. It was so. I don't know. I love that a, a friend of mine, because most of my friends have had all seen it already, and it's so. It's like, I don't know, it's like going to a weird, disturbed Disneyland with a child for the first time because they're experiencing it for the first time. And you love seeing their excitement for it. And then all of a sudden, you're like watching these things that I had already seen. And I'm like, oh my yeah. God, that's right. She got to go through that again. You kind of became my, that again. My, my, tech, my bouncing board. Every yeah. Time something big happened. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. Yeah. I was... cried when Ned died. Da, 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 da. I know, I'm just saying. I, look, trust me, I just got reamed the other day on Twitter for it, okay? Oh, I hope I didn't. <laughs> Spoiler alert, <laughs> It has been five it years. It has. Guys, it's been five, oh, what happened? What's that? Are you serious? <laughs> What's happened? Are they, are, they all, are they all signed? What's that? Oh, fantastic. Um, guys, I have four tube fingers. Um, we have, uh, we have four, yeah, Eric, thank you, sir. He's gonna, there's four of the same of these guys. Go ahead and vanna that out. Boom. One of our better posters, I think. Because it was only me. <laughs> uh, signed by both of us. At 250. Sold for 250. Anyone else want to buy one? How, what's that? Can you put it on your card? Do we have that ability? We yes, we do. How much would you like to buy it for? And we're gonna start it at a hundred. Oh no no, he's already got that one for two fifty. We got two fifty again? No, two fifty. Sold for two fifty. Does anybody? I got two more for two fifty. How's that sound? Two fifty. Uh, you had a hand up. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that one, 250 Boom, 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 boom. That's perfect, guys. That's $1,000 right there. Hey, give yourselves a round of applause. Wow. Amazing. And that was like four smiles. That's like exactly four smiles, guys. That's, that's incredible. Four kids are going to live an incredibly better life because you just bought four posters. How's that for America or the world or whatever? That's awesome. Uh, we, got, we, got, uh, we got about 10 more minutes. Uh, are you picking? Yes. Hi, Yvonne. Hi. Uh, I have a question for you, but Zach, if you want to chime in too, please do. I probably will. <laughs> Is there any character, past, present, TV, movie, theater, Shakespeare, that you would absolutely love to play, and why? Catherine from Wuthering Heights. <laughs> this is my favorite book in high school. 
Um, I would love to play that. Uh, and Shakespeare, I mean, I'd love to do Juliet. I'm probably too old for Juliet now. Because Juliet was spring chicken. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I would love to do Beatrice from Much Ado. Much Ado, right? Much Ado about nothing. Uh, and Olivia from Twelfth Night. Uh, I was in both those plays when I was a kid in high school, but I was I was the other I was Viola and Hero, but I wanted to play Beatrice and Olivia. Uh, yeah, does that answer your question? The Cat in the Hat, <laughs> but a much better version than the last one. Um, I don't I have no I don't know. <laughs> Everything I'm gonna say right now is gonna seem like really dumb compared to all of your Shakespearean references. <laughs> so uh, that, that is kind of fascinating because I don't really know. I'm like, I'm not really well read or versed in the classics. No, not really. I didn't really do, I mean, I did a lot of theater, but I didn't, we didn't do a lot of Shakespeare and stuff like that. You actually went to a theater school. I went to, <laughs> I went to Ventura, or I went to Buena High School in Ventura. And uh, we didn't do a tremendous amount of Shakespeare and stuff, but we did, we did a lot of fun stuff. I'm like a Rodgers and Hammerstein guy. Like, I want to do, you know, Oklahoma. Like, come on. I did Oklahoma. I was Will Parker. I wanted to be Curly. Um, it's a long story, guys. I won't get into that. Um, I don't know. I feel like all the roles I want to play are from video games or, like, you know, science fiction and stuff like that. Like, honestly, like, when they announced they're doing a Han Solo movie, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to be yeah. Han Solo. I want to be uh, Nathan Drake. Like, it's that kind of stuff that, I, want to, that I, I would love to play. But then there's also movies, I think I've said this before, but I think it'd be really fun to do, like, a remake of It's a Wonderful Life. And not because the movie itself is... I think the movie itself is incredible, but I think that younger audiences don't find it as much anymore because it was done in black and white. And I think the story and the heart of that story is so completely timeless and really important. I think people need to know that their, that their life matters and movies like that, stories like that are really incredible. So I think something like that, which is why I would like to be the cat in the hat because I think that he, <laughs> that really dials that in, I think. Next question. Pick them. At the back. <laughs> Hello, Yvonne. Uh, if you were on a celebrity talent show, what would you do to win it? What, what would I do to win it? Yeah, what or would you try to do to win the show? Oh, you mean which show would I do? No, no, if you were on a celebrity <laughs> talent show, what, pick... what talent would you do? You mean like Dancing with the Stars or something? Oh, no, like, or, a, or like singing an overall... or gymnastics. Oh, yeah, like a talent. Oh, oh, like, oh, like, oh, oh, I see what you mean. Uh... What would I do? What would I do? Oh, well, probably, probably dancing. I love dancing. Probably make up some kind of a routine. <laughs> Dazzle everyone with it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in a high kick, I don't know. Da <laughs> do the splits. Do a bit of this, is it? Do a bit of that? Do, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, next question. Sorry, I guess I have to stand up. Um, you guys, I'm guessing when you auditioned for Chuck, didn't realize it was going to have such a rapid fan base. And you've done a couple other shows and a movie, maybe, that also has a rapid fan base. And I'm just curious, does it change how you live your life? And do you have to alter what you do because people get crazy around you guys when they see you and that fan base? Does it get crazy? I mean, wait, so, tell me. Have the, have the rabid fan bases of the various projects you've done made it so that you've had to kind of alter certain choices or lifestyle or whatever in order to... Lifestyle choices. Yeah, right, kind of, right? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Uh... Without, like... <laughs> oh, I go all the time, honey. They have some great sweaters at J. Crew. It's fantastic. Uh, I mean, not. I mean, sometimes it's an issue, um, but for the majority of the time, no, not really. I mean, it depends on where you go. I don't tend to hang out in places where it's terribly 
bothersome, you know, like where it's, it's, you know, like sceny areas or anything like that. I don't really tend to do that stuff. I'm sort of more... Seedy areas? Seedy, seedy. Oh, seedy. Or seedy. <laughs> uh, A lot of Chuck fans hanging out in back alleys. Uh, oh, I loved you and Chuck versus the Wookiee. Oh. <laughs> uh, My drugs, oh. Carry on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so... I mean, I tend to sort of out, be out in nature in my spare time, so it's not really a problem. It, it becomes a little problematic when you're trying to, for example, have a vacation, and people can be sometimes disrespectful with that, with your time, which is a real bummer. Um, but at this point in my life, it's, it's been manageable. And a simple conversation has done the trick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, am I answering that question? I, I think you are. Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, no, I, no, I don't. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, look, Chuck, we had an awesome fan base with Chuck. Uh, you, you, yeah. <laughs> you almost said that really defeated. I ate a lot of Subway. Oh. I do not do gluten, okay? This was a very difficult. Um, I don't know. Oh, go ahead. No, I just wanted to reiterate that wasn't. I wasn't talking about fans with that when I was talking about that last particular incident. I was talking about um, oh, like paparazzi, paparazzi yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of switched. So I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's important. That's yeah. that's an important delineation. Uh, I I walk around in reasonable anonymity. No joke. I mean, I don't. Yeah, it's been great. I, I don't, uh, every, every once in a while, somebody be like, every once in a while, so, what's that? Oh, no, this, yes, that, no, we don't have to. Uh, yeah, it, that, that's, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I get confused for someone often, and, uh, which is fine, because he's a very talented and, and you know, uh, good looking dude. Uh, but it's, I'm not telling you, it's not, it's not happening. No, no, stop it. Boo now you're booing me? <laughs> I've had it. Uh, no, it ju it's just funny because it just happened the other day and we were having a laugh about it. Um, no, look, I, every once in a while, you know, there'll be a fan who's like, you know, they'll say, hey, I just wanted to tell you, but like to me, the, you should be so lucky. You should be so lucky that somebody actually gives a crap what you do for a living. I've said this before, but it's like, how many... Only actors, only famous people, and that only cuts down into actors, singers, athletes, and maybe, if you're lucky, some kind of like politician, astronaut, hero, like, in, like the guy who, who you know, landed the plane in the Hudson River. Like, those are the only people that, that get any kind of, I don't know, acclaim. So when somebody comes up to you and says, and genuinely says, hey, I really love what you do for a living. The, to me, the only answer is thank you. Not, oh, that's, uh, you know, like, just say thank you. And if they're, and if, you know, and some people get really, some people can get a little crazy, can get a little crazy with you. And you just have to very respectfully say, hey, man, I, I, I really appreciate your, uh, your love. I, I got to go. I have a life that I still have to live right now. Um, the hard thing is when people, the hard thing is when people, there are people who recognize you, but they don't know you. And, and uh, you know, like you, you might stop somewhere to, I don't know, like an actual fan will be like, oh my God, I stop on the street and go, oh my God, I'd love to get a photo or think, yeah, totally. And you're doing that. And then you see like some passerby is looking at that happening and going, and you can see it in their eye. They go, oh, this is somebody famous. I should, I should get a picture with them. And then you can see, like they go, and you can see it in their eyes. They have no idea who you are. They have no idea. They don't care what you do. And then, and I've, occasionally I've actually asked them, they go, uh, can, I, can I get a photo with you too? And I go, do you, have a, do you, know, do you, do you know, do you know who, not in like that, do you know who I am? Not that thing, but it's like, <laughs> do you actually know who, what I do or anything? And, they, and you could see it in their eyes. They're like, Buster. yeah, Buster. They're like, yeah. No, and then I, and then I, but then it's actually led to an honest conversation before, and I go, why would you want that then? Is it because you can later on go be like, hey, look at, to your friends, look, I met this famous person. It's like, but that, your friend probably doesn't care. They're like, who cares? That's, um, 
I don't know. That's kind of a little bit of a tangent, but um, <laughs> but that's rare, you know. I mean, occasionally people will say, "Well, you know, the fans who stop you." I, th I just think that's awesome. Because what plumber is getting stopped and saying, uh, "I love your work with the Marshalls toilet." That was just <laughs> the way you unclogged. You can snake a drain. <laughs> will you sign my plunger? Like nobody, you know, you don't get that. <laughs> you don't get that. And by the way, they're probably doing a service that helps you a hell of a lot more sometimes. You know what I mean? We play make-believe. I mean, and, and we love that we get to, by the way. We love that, the, the, that you guys care. And that's why, you know. That's why, that's oh, and that's why we're here. And that's why the time is over. Ladies and gentlemen, Yvonne Strahovski! Yvonne Strahovski! And Denona Blencher. Give it up for Yvonne, everybody. Give it up for Yvonne. Come on, you clack, come on.